Hello, Gemini. Hi, Gemini. Welcome to December and welcome to the new year. This is a mid-month, uh, December to January 2019 reading for you. Um, I'm doing a Terrascope mid-month to mid-month for you. So um, we're going to get into the cards here and see what's coming up for Gemini for the last two weeks of December as well as the first two weeks of January. Thanks for your patience with this, Gemini. And uh, I'm using the Vision Quest deck here. It is by Guyane Sylvie Winter and Joe Doze. Um, it's a Native American themed deck, as you can see there. And then I'm going to be doing some clarification with um, the BOTA deck. That's the Builders of the Adidam deck. And this is one that I've just gotten recently. I love it. You can see it's got artwork that's really similar to the Rider Waite, and it's meant to be colored in. I'm still in the process of doing that, but I'm using it in the meantime anyway. So let's see what's coming up for Gemini. Um, we're finally out of that Mercury retrograde that lasted to the beginning of December, to December 6th. And now we're in this beautiful sun and Sagittarius energy. It's very optimistic. It's very um, explorative. It's adventurous. It's all about higher learning, going into things that um, cause us to go to new horizons. Higher learning, religion, other philosophies, other cultures. Uh, it's often a, car, um, a time of travel when sun is in Sag. So many of you will be traveling to see your families during the holidays. Very common. It's great during the Sag time. And we now have... Um, Jupiter has just gone from Scorpio and it's also in Sag now. So it's very expansive energy. Um, it's very optimistic, it's very enthusiastic, it's very carefree energy. So let's see what's coming up for you for the second half of December as well as the beginning of January. We open with Fool. This is brand new energy, Gemini. This is sort of like, whenever I see Fool, it, I always think all things are possible. This is, this is the very first card of the tarot, and it's like, it's like potential energy. It means like things are being formed, or things, are, things can be formed into whatever shape you want them to be. It's a card of faith, card of belief, trust in the universe, going off on new adventures, new beginnings, and trusting that the divine is going to catch you if you jump off that cliff. It's sort of like saying, let's go for it. Let's just go. It's green light go. And Fool has a great sense of humor, too. Really great um, just approach to life. Is able to laugh at things. You know, again, I always think of these cliches, but it says um, angels can fly because they take themselves lightly. And that's really Fool energy. He's really, it's young-hearted, beginner's mind um, kind of energy. Anything is possible as, as we're here in the middle of December. Then I also see Grandfather. Uh, which is the Emperor card. Both of these are Major Arcana, by the way, Gemini. So this is a card of control. Um, it's a card of having things in their proper order. So some of you may be dealing with an Aries. This is also an Aries card. Or some of you may be working with an elder, um, either a grandfather or father, uncle, that sort of energy, an older um, family member. Or it could be someone who's in an authority position, like a boss or um, a landlord, or someone who you look up to, like a mentor. For some of you, this may be your lawyer. For some of you, this may be a financial advisor. Someone that has authority in an area that really brings order and expertise to your life. And with this in full uh, energy combined, it's saying, like, start a new beginning here. You know, be, be carefree and be open, but get good advice. This is saying, you know, do, do the fun, outrageous, carefree thing, but do it within certain parameters that, you know, use the benefit of wisdom and knowledge to guide you through that Gemini. So I really like what's showing up for you here in the middle of December, saying, be carefree. There's big, big themes, big new beginning, but it's saying maybe you're doing it to go visit, um... I'm getting patriarch is the word that I'm getting. So maybe you're visiting 
um, part of your family that is on your father's side. Maybe you're visiting a grandfather, an elder, um, who has a young, young carefree spirit, something like that. Um, Mother of Air, this is Queen of Swords, so I'm reading this as you, Gemini, whether you're male or female. This is the person who speaks their truth and expresses themselves. And I'm seeing that Grandfather and Mother of Air are facing in the same direction. So you may be expressing yourself um, in terms of family matters. You may be expressing yourself to the family. Or setting, both of these cards are real cards about setting boundaries. So there may be a certain amount of setting boundaries within the family. Queen of Air is really about speaking your truth, getting really clear about what is okay with you, what's not okay, what's right, what's wrong, what's up, what's down. She's really clear and crisp um, with the truth, and she's not afraid to say things. So uh, a lot of authority energy here, along with Fool, says that you might be questioning authority. You might be... Um, Asking questions or saying, speaking truth to power is what I'm seeing too for some of you. And Ace of Water, this causes a beautiful new beginning. Aces are always beginnings. And this is Ace of Water, which is Ace of Cups. Means new love, new passion, new joy. As you get really clear and honest, some of you actually may be in a father role if you're male. Um, Getting clear and honest and direct in your expression, really speaking your truth, really opens up this new love, new opportunity, new passion, something that makes your heart um, overflow, Gemini. So I really am liking, I'm really liking, you almost have this clear, fresh energy, Queen of Swords. She can sometimes be serious, but she's really clear and direct. You know where you're at when you're talking to her, and I'm really reading that as you, this last half of... December, um, and I'm seeing you speaking to your family clearly and honestly and truthfully, and it actually creates new love here within the family. It could also, for some of you, be a romantic connection, um, a new person that you're in love with, or deepening your bond with someone that you're already in love with, but there's, there's love flowing around you, Gemini, as you express your truth, as you're clear about um, what's true for you. What else do I see? Two of air in reverse. So some of you may be having challenges with making a decision about something. Um, we just had that new moon in Sagittarius at the beginning of December. So some of you may be still debating something as we get towards the end of December, trying to make a decision, feeling a little bit like, it's almost like Libra energy where you're, you're vacillating between two choices. But here's another ace energy. I do see you choosing something, something that has the potential for a really solid beginning. And with ace of cups and ace of earth, with two aces showing up in your reading here, there's a wonderful new beginning. Um, you're planting the seeds. Whenever we have earth energy, which is fertile soil, seeds, um, you know, earth, the ground, and we have water, this causes things to grow. The water fertilizes and brings brings the earth into um, a state where it's able to grow. This is rainbow corn and this is it's like a new beginning that can grow something that really nourishes you. So your emotional energy and your being honest and truthful about things causes this new gift to be given to you. It's something that can grow. It's a new beginning, new lifestyle. could be new money, new job. Sometimes the earth element has to do with um, actual physical assets. But there's beautiful new beginning energy here, especially towards the end of December. This could also be towards the beginning of the new year for you. Um, I believe in Chinese astrology, we're headed into a pig year for 2019, so for some of you that may be significant. Uh, let's see what else is coming up. Seven of water, excess in reverse. So yeah, you're trimming the excess. This is like trimming the fat. You can see in this card that there are certain vessels that are broken and are draining water, which represents emotional energy. And then there's two at the top that are whole and solid and contain um, water and actually hold the water. So they're not draining it away. So with this card being excess, it's usually a card of choices where we want to put our attention. I'm seeing you getting rid of the excess here right as we finish up 
2018. So you're really being invited to get rid of whatever didn't work for you, what felt excessive, like it was heavy, like it drained you, and just take with you into the new year the the vessels that hold water, the ones that contain things, the ones that hold your emotional energy, Gemini. And, you know, it creates a beautiful new beginning. You're kind of like being, I'm getting conservation. You're conserving the water into just the vessels that hold water, not not putting any into the ones that drain things away, the cracked pots, literally, so that you can nurture the garden that you're planting, the new beginning, the new chapter, the new cycle. I really like this for you. You are taking, you're being really clear and making decisions here and being honest and truthful with yourself as well as others about what holds water for you. Because when you have something that is, has integrity and and is actually is not cracked, is, is um, capable of holding emotional energy, you can nurture the things that you're trying to plant. You're not going to be wasting away energy. You're not going to be wasting, draining away, pouring things in that drain away. Instead, when you have something that is whole, it can, you can overflow it's into nurturing and watering what it is you want to see grow. So I really, really love this. It's like you're getting really clear about where you want to put your emotional energy and getting rid of the excess here right towards the end of the year. Um, what else do we have for Gemini? Yeah, Six of Air, Clarity. This is in the reverse, but um, this card is about moving on from challenging times, challenging chaotic waters to smoother seas and smoother shores to calmer horizons. Is there any fear, doubt, or resistance, Gemini, about moving on from old patterns, old scenarios, old ways of being, old things that that drain you? Because this is a card of healing, of recovery, of going to, like I said, smoother, more peaceful shores. And with you showing this is like getting rid of excess, getting rid of things that drain you emotionally, and then coming into clarity, but there is which is also healing and recovery, but there's this reversal to this. So it's saying that you may have some fear, doubt, or resistance towards letting the old things go, the excessive things go. It may be that like some of these pots that were given to you are sentimental to you. And even though they no longer contain water, no, they no longer can hold water, they're draining things away, sometimes it's hard to get rid of things even if they no longer serve a purpose or they no longer um, help us. I'm seeing that clarity can be yours, recovery and healing, but you may have to get rid of old things that don't successfully hold your emotional energy, Gemini. They don't, they don't um, serve you in the, in the way that they were intended to. They did maybe at one time, but now if they're not, if they are among the five pots here that are cracked rather than the solid ones, it's time to let those go. And great clarity, healing, and recovery comes from that, especially mental clarity, as well as going to much calmer, more peaceful um, shores. So let's see what's coming up at the beginning of January. Father of Water in reverse. So this is King of Cups in reverse. Um, this can be a water sign that you're dealing with. This could be Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces, but they're showing up in a way that is not really of themselves. Normally, King of Cups energy is like the devoted father, the devoted partner, someone who is very compassionate, thinks about other people's feelings, always wants peace, wants love, is very diplomatic, wise, calm, and caring. In the reverse, it may be that you're not feeling like a capable father, or that you have a water sign around you, again, it could be male or female, um, that is, you're not seeing the loving partner show up as themselves. So it could be someone who is normally a very loving partner, but for whatever reason, for some reason I'm getting that for some of you, they may be at a distance, or they may be traveling as the year opens, or that you are separated from them. Um, for whatever reason, they're not able to show up in their full form, their usual, um, compassionate, loving, caring, tender state. Uh, so that's that's happening at the beginning of the year. Then I see four of air contemplation. There may be some 
fear, doubt, or resistance about taking a time out and taking a break, Gemini. This is a card of resting to fight another day or to act another day. And whenever I see this card, I always think about meditation. It's usually depicted by a soldier who's laying on a casket and the, and the three swords are above him. He's sort of hanging his thoughts up on the wall and then there's one sword on the casket, which is, it's basically a card of being still, getting quiet, listening within. And some of you are getting information about this water sign person or this person who is normally a very caring, devoted, um, loving partner. Some of you are going to be reflecting upon that, whether that's someone you know or someone that you would like to bring to you. There's fear, doubt, or resistance about whether you can, say, be partnered with someone like that. Or it might be reflecting upon your interactions with a water sign who isn't showing up as themselves. I'm going to say, Gemini, that the beginning and the opening of the year is a really good time for you to take a break and really just sort of meditate on things, to think things over, to reflect, recharge, um, pause, rest, all of those good R&R words, which is like uh, reflect, recharge, um, rethink, reevaluate. Um, just go within. Really good time. If you can't, if you can't do that, you might want to carve out some time just like in the in the mornings or the evenings to just give yourself some meditation time. You might get some nice uh, insights from that. And then we have Medicine Woman in reverse. This is High Priestess in reverse. So this is saying, you know, you might not be trusting your own intuition. You might not be trusting your hunches, Gemini, as the year opens. Here's three cards that have to do with this one and this one right here, these two have to do with emotional energy and trusting your instincts. You know, this meditation card, this reflection card is really going to give you some insights. If you're if you're the one who's feeling emotionally uh, unstable or unbalanced, see if you can push through whatever fears, doubts, or resistance you have towards getting quiet and going within, because that's going to provide you with some great insight. And it might give you some insight about whoever this King of Cups person is who's showing up in reverse, whether that's you or someone else, Gemini. Trust your instincts. Trust what your gut feeling is telling you. That's what Medicine Woman is saying. But she's in reverse. So she's saying you know, there is some fear, doubt, or resistance about trusting your gut, um, trusting your instincts, trusting your intuition. And same thing here. Look at this. This is very interesting. You have High Priest and High Priestess right next to one another in reverse. So he's kind of saying the same thing. This is the Shaman card. And he's appearing in reverse too. There's some something that your intuition is trying to tell you. For some of you, I'm getting this as your ancestors. Um, this is all about higher learning. It's about commitment. Um, it's about doing things in a socially acceptable and moral way. But usually it's about higher and spiritual knowledge. And with high priest and high priestess, this is high priest, this is high priestess, together here at the end of the reading this is we're into january when these cards are showing up they're both in reverse so it's saying trust your instincts trust your spiritual guides trust um whatever ancestral information you're getting there is information there are angels around you there is there's information that's trying to come through from the spiritual realm and your job is to get quiet and listen that's what both of these are saying you need to trust your inner guidance and I'm really getting for you that especially at the beginning of January meditation going into retreat going within getting quiet is going to be really important for you that's what if you look at these cards that's what all of this is saying it could be a really spiritual time for you Gemini some of you if you can if you're able to it might be a good time to go somewhere on retreat or on vacation maybe even by yourself to listen in to what these two figures have to say to you, high priest and high priestess. It's information coming from the heavens, coming from the etheric realm, that it's trying to guide you. And you just need to get quiet to hear that and listen in. And then it provides you with great direction. These, these two know the answers. High priest and high priestess. They're, they're two of the most spiritual cards in the deck. So I'm really getting for you, Gemini, that you're connecting with your spirituality at the beginning of January. And it will also provide you with a lot of clarity. 
Um, let me ask the BOTA deck, what is this Ace of Water? What is this Ace of Cups related to for Gemini uh, towards the end of December? What is this new passionate thing? King of Wands. So it's saying that you might be falling in love with a fire sign. This could be Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. But I'm actually getting for most of you that this is falling in love with big dreams. King of Wands is bold, confident energy. He sees the big picture. He sees like what he wants to create and achieve and takes action on it. So I'm seeing that some of you are planting the seeds for this new year of really harnessing and taking hold of your dreams, taking action on it, creating what you want to create. You're the king. You're in charge. And it has to do with all this authority um, energy with all these other cards. Emperor, Grandfather, Mother of Air, Queen of Swords, which I'm reading as you, Gemini. And then also this Fool energy. Fool energy and Ace of Cups are great new beginnings. Anything's possible with Fool. This is something that you're beginning that your heart overflows with. It's passionate. It's joyful. It's creative. So, and it's it's big deal. It's a big dream that you're going after. So now is a good time to begin this. I'm seeing for you, Gemini, at the end of December. And let me get clarification also. What is this message that medicine woman and shaman are trying to convey to Gemini? It definitely has to do with going within and getting quiet. But please give me information about what it's about. <laughs> Your wish is fulfilled. You, this is star energy. This this is hope. This is your dreams. This is again, you know, when you wish upon a star, your dreams can come true. And it's no it's no coincidence to me that this star is very similar to that star of Bethlehem. You know, right around Christmas time, right around the solstice. This is the star energy. So I'm getting you know around the solstice. Take some time out. Go be in nature. That's star energy as well. And get really quiet and meditate on what it is that you know the universe that the etheric realm that your ancestors is trying are trying to convey to you there's some really important information that's going to guide you that has answers for you if you can get quiet and listen in this is that solstice energy this could be the cancer full moon in december or this could also be at the beginning in january but somewhere between the end of December and the first two weeks of January, you have access to a lot of information that can help you fulfill your dreams, Gemini. So this is beautiful energy. Please do. Please, my, I have a friend who's in his 80s, and he says, don't miss the opportunity. So please take the opportunity here at the end of 2018, at the beginning of 2019, to get quiet, listen in, and have your wishes fulfilled, Gemini. I'm loving this reading for you. It's really beautiful. So please don't miss the opportunity. So that's my reading for you, Gemini. Uh, thank you for your patience for it. If ever you'd like to book a reading with me, you can do so. I'll have a link up in this top corner. Um, if you enjoyed this reading, please feel free to give it a thumbs up or share it with another Gemini. And I hope that all of you have a beautiful Christmas or solstice or whatever uh, holiday that you celebrate or whether you celebrate at all. And I hope all of you have a beautiful new year and I will speak to you again in January. Thanks so much for watching. Yours in the stars. Mm -hmm.